What's up, YouTube? Hey, thank y'all for liking my video, watching them. It don't take much to hit the button like, you know, just check them out. Share it. YouTube keep, when I put up some real stuff, YouTube, they take my video down. That's why it's so important for y'all to hit the like button and share it. Just share it. I'm just going to bring all different types. Let me know what kind of video y'all want to see, and I'll put it up there. Don't let them trick y'all to screen. Shalom. Hey, this is the video called What's Your Job? What's your name, brother? What's your job? My name is Tony Rozier. I'm originally from Washington, D.C. Man, I'm looking at this car, brother. <laughs> Thank you know, Maserati, man. I'm, I'm like, man, I'm looking. I said, he ain't no rapper. Nope. Older guy. I ain't no rapper. I, uh, I'm not an athlete. Okay. I don't sell drugs. I just went to college. Okay. You know, got a family. That's right. Invested early. That's right. Um, and retired when I was 47. Retired at 47. How old are you now, brother? 50, almost, I'll be 52 in January. Oh. Man, I'm almost 52 years old. And you bought this for your wife, right? Yeah, I bought this for my wife. See, young blood, y'all ain't got to sell dope. Tell them, they ain't got to sell dope uh, and all that. Uh-uh. I, I did everything. You know, I, went, I played ball like a lot of people do, but I went to college. I knew I wasn't going to play professional ball. Right. So. Around senior year in college, I figured, tried to figure out what I was going to do. Had my first child when I was 24. I said, okay, cool, what are we going to do? Went in the military, mm. um, and then just retired from the military, and then I retired from my job. I was a uh, medical sales executive, and retired from that, and, you know, and now I'm living retired life. You don't work at all? I don't work at all. I got, what, <laughs> my son owns a, uh, basketball apparel company okay while he's in college so i run that for him man shot that thing yeah you got it online anything yeah it is it's called uh btohoops.com BTO website hoops. the website be up this week but um i can show anybody the gear we're gonna have a uh youtube page and stuff like that so you okay. can contact me at uh 602-909-7364 uh, once again my name is tony rogier all my instagram and all that other stuff is coach Coach. Tony okay. Rozier, T O N Y R O S I E R. Okay. Call it coach because I'm a uh, high school basketball coach down here at Union Grove High School. Oh man, all praise. Yeah, hey, so. any, any advice you can give a young brother? You know the young brother. Like I say, man, what you what you recommend for him to do? Uh, first thing I recommend is at an early age. Yes, sir. The, it's a few things that no one can take from us. Republicans, whatever. You can't take the education. That's right. Um, you can't take dignity, honesty, all that good stuff. Um, but the one thing I would recommend is get your education and learn how to invest your money at an extremely early age. I'm not, if you want to invest in Bitcoin, that's fine. But I'm talking about stocks. Right. Um, and stuff like that. Um, and the other thing is have an entrepreneurial spirit. Mm. Like my son is 21 years old. He plays college basketball, but he got a basketball apparel company. He knows he's not playing pro ball. Okay. So what's next, right? Mm. So he already started now. What's next? And that's what I recommend, man. We can do better. That's right. We got to do better. We got to do better as a people. That's right. And uh, and we got to affect our young, our youngins early. You know, we can't wait till they 25 and teach them mm. how to invest. Mm. Teach them how to invest at 17, 18. Now, I admit, I didn't do that with my kids. <laughs> right. And I learned a big lesson, but I'm starting now. All of my kids are in their 20s. Um, but I got a grandson that's three. And you can best believe he's going to start investing at about 15, 16 That's years right. Old. So, so where if they're in high school and they got a job, what the best thing for them to do? Like like you say, start putting it up? Invest yeah, it? I would invest it in like, uh, you can go to your local bank and ask them about uh, um, different type of mutual funds. Right. Uh, what they call them? R uh, Roth RAs, all types of stuff you can get into. Mm. Um, day trading. I don't do that, but I know a couple a couple kids that play for me still in high school they do day trading wow my i got a daughter that's a paramedic who, in la she does day trading i just don't have the, the uh, patience for that but i would completely recommend that for young people wow day trading um ras mutual funds anything like that learn how to invest and learn how to count your money properly that's right i ain't saying okay i got i got 100 i got 200 i'm saying i got 2500 dollars here i got Sixteen thousand dollars there. Know what the interest rates are. What the, how things appreciate and depreciate. We buy these nice cars and stuff, and that's cool. But keep in mind something that that's only going to depreciate. Mm. Invest in some land or some property. That's right. Um, my wife and I can ready to buy another house in Stockbridge just as an investment. <laughs> um, wow. And it ain't that I'm doing so much better than anyone else, or I got a whole bunch of money because I don't. 
I'm just cognizant of what needs to be done. That's right. And I didn't learn that until I was about 30. Mm. I wish I'd have learned it when I was 16 because I probably wouldn't be standing here. But it's a blessing to be standing here. That's right. And meet you, brother, and able to tell the story on, man, let's do better. Right. Like, if we do better financially, they can't tell us what to do. That's right. Right? You think people telling Jay-Z what to do? Hell no. Nah. Bob Johnson, his <laughs> own BAT. Uh, Byron Allen, don't young folks don't even know about him, but I know y'all heard of the Weather Channel. He owned it. He worked. Mm. Worth about five hundred, and he worth about five billion dollars. He can ready to buy the Washington Commandos. Mm. So we just got to do better. And those are brothers and sisters. We got to do better. It ain't about Hollywood. It ain't about selling drugs or the rap game or the right. music game or something <laughs> like that. Because you can still get in in the rap game and the music game, but if you're still doing right with your money early, and the rap game don't work out, that's right. You're still straight. So you we say can't put all our eggs in one basket. So you saying you retired at 47 years old? I retired September September 8th, September 8th, 2018. How old you was again? And I was 47. I was born in 71. Young man. And I was born, I was 47. <laughs> and I attempted to go back to work. I was like, man, nah, hell no. Nah. I'm done with this. Sitting at home every day. He done put his work in. Wife doing good, kids, yep. they're gonna get the side of. I appreciate it. Beautiful. He bought this for his wife because he loved her, man. And he was able to do it. Able to do it, bro. I did it the right way. I'm he did it the right way. I didn't know anything, but, you know, I just, I grew up in the city. I grew up in D.C. And That's I could have right. easily gotten that drug game, but my That's mom right. and dad was like, nope, we're getting you the hell out of here. That's right. And, you know, my dad was a pretty cool dude. He told me, the one thing I would recommend to every kid out there or every young person out there, this one word, What's just that? one word stuck with my, my dad died when I was 20 years old, but okay. I still remember there's no word, no doubt. Priorities. If your priorities are straight, your life has a better chance of being straight. That's right. And once I was 24 when I had my first child, and that's when the, the word priorities sunk in because before that, even when even I was married, I was out there doing my thing, running the streets, clubbing. When my daughter came, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> this ain't it. Right. And that's when it changed. Now, unfortunately, it took until 24 until I learned about the word priority. Right. But it's better late than never, bro. And then as us men, we got to start holding each other accountability, too. hold each other accountable, man. Don't be, the afraid. Young group. Don't be afraid that if you see somebody doing wrong out in the streets, just ask me, young brother, why are you doing that? Right. Right. And if you have the opportunity or the means to say, hey, I'm going to help you out. Give me a call. I got something better for you. Do it. I got one kid that was doing his thing, knowing I was getting into basketball training. He's like, coach, can I come work for you? Mm. I'm like, yeah. He pushing in, he doing 30 hours a week in my basketball training business. He probably making about 900 to 1500 a week. Man, so you got off, a basketball training. Just off of basketball <laughs> training, man. That's wow. It. I ain't got nothing to do with none of that other stuff. Wow. We train high school kids over here in Stockbridge. Stockbridge. And we go from there, man. Man, shout your son business out one more time before we close The, the it, name of my son's business is BTO Hoops. You can find it on, uh, he got an Instagram, Facebook page. It's BTO.Hoops. Um, and like I said, my name, you can find all our info. It's Coach Tony Rogier, all one word on Instagram, Facebook. And what's the other one? Twitter. And TikTok, I don't know how to do TikTok yet, but uh, all of that on there, we have, we're we setting up our, his BTO pages. And one last thing. Okay. So here's what BTO stands for. What's that? Beat the odds. Beat the odds. Beat the odds who? Because the odds of us, they think the odds of us doing the right thing are little, are well, you, small. Well, you better so say that's, it. Or, 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 I'm sorry, or, or big. Right, you know, right, right. the odds of us doing the right thing it's small, so let's beat those off. That's right. How do we beat those off? By doing the right thing. Mm. So that's what BTO stand for. It came from him because he was always, you weren't good enough. You're not small enough. I mean, you're not fast enough. You don't jump high enough. Right, right. And the kid basically beat all those odds and he's playing college <laughs> basketball in North Carolina. Oh, crazy. And that's what it's all about. Oh, crazy, man. Y'all heard it. What's your name again, bro? Tony Rozier, man. Tony and, Rozier. Uh, anybody just want to, any young folks out of there just want to chat? And talk if you got something on your mind. I'm willing to talk to anybody, man. I love trying to get the the youth and the young folks is my is my calling. I don't. I, only reason I coach basketball is to keep these kids out of trouble. Only reason I do basketball training is to keep these kids off the off the street. Okay. I'm good. My kids are good. 
folk. It ain't just about us. Now That's that right. we good, we got to affect other folks. That's especially right. Especially in our black community. That's right. That's right. Appreciate you, brother, man. I appreciate man. you, man. Thank you so much, bro. Yes, sir.